Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia if you're new here. So to start this vlog off, we're going to do like a little bit of a try on haul. Everything in this part of the try on haul is from Boohoo. Thank you so much to Boohoo for partnering with us for this week's video. If you guys know, we love Boohoo. Um, I have like some loungewear. I have like a replenishment of some of my favorite items that I like literally live in from Boohoo. And then I just picked up some other things that just were so cute that I couldn't leave them behind. Oh my god, what's this one piece of hair doing? But basically, like the way I've been shopping um, as of recently, I'm not shopping by season. I'm not shopping for any certain reason. I've just been picking up things that I just would like to have in my collection, whether it be this year, next year, next winter, next fall, because we're not going out that much, especially me. If your hair is like super, super wet because I just got out the shower. Oh, something just fell off my dresser. So I'm going to put on one of my little like spa wraps that I picked up recently. Um, I'll have these linked down below if you're interested. Let me make sure my hair don't get messed up. Um, I just like these to keep my hair on my face like when it's wet because I hate the way wet hair feels. But yeah, so the first thing is this robe. It's actually this bralette as well. Um, I love, love, love the bras from Boohoo, like their rib bras. I literally own them in every single color that they come in. I also own like all the matching panties and stuff. Um, but I have like this mauve color right here. And then I also have, uh, what's it, that's these three? I think so. Then I, and then I also have this nice little chocolate one. Love, love, love the chocolate. I actually own this one like in the other materials as well. And then I picked up another black one. I think I have like five of these black ones, but you just can't go wrong with a black bralette. I literally just wear them to sleep all day um, underneath my sweatshirts and stuff. They're so comfortable. You cannot feel them on. They're like a really nice like microfiber material. So they're just super comfortable. I keep going like this. I feel like my arrows is like protruding. But yeah, so then after that, I picked up this robe. <laughs> I love robes you guys know I just can never leave a robe behind if it's something that's not in my collection already so I'm gonna show you guys this one so we're gonna go back and forth between here and the mirror so this robe is just super super long ignore the mess that's in the background um, it literally goes all the way to the floor I mean I'm only 5'4 but it's just super nice and silky and satin love the color look at the sleeves guys these are so so cute but yeah love the robe the robe is top of the line i'm gonna be wearing this in so many vlogs it's gonna be ridiculous you guys are gonna be sick of it but yeah so picked up the robe and the bralettes now let's go on to like actual clothing all right and next up i got another black sweatsuit but first of all let me talk about the quality of this one out of all the sweatsuits the sweatpants everything that i've ever picked up from boohoo this one the quality is so so nice it's like I don't know it's thick but it's not like a stiff thick but like it's super like it just hangs really nice on the body i guess is what i'm trying to say but it's like black black you guys know i'm just really weird about blacks um they just fade really quickly and you wash them one time boom they're done with but sometimes when you get them they're not like a true black this is like a stark freaking black it's so so cute it's a matching two-piece it comes together love this set i'm gonna be like living in it let me let me show you guys how it's a wide leg sweatpants too. So you can't tell me I already have a black sweatpant because no, I don't. See, switching it up for you guys, you know. And I like hold the camera different, so I don't keep changing angle on you guys. So as you guys can see, it's just this really nice black sweatshirt. It says like official right here, but you can't see it because it's like embroidered in. Um, so I really really like that. I actually really like how Boohoo does a lot of this with their logos or their collections that they do. Um, but then it's just a generic black sweatpant. It has like a nice seam going down, which I really, really like. And then it is a wide leg. We discussed this in the last vlog that you could basically wear these with sneakers. You could dress them up with heels. Like they're just so cute. They're so in right now. They're so nostalgic, but so, so cute. Love this. I don't have mine like pulled up all the way to my waist. So I feel like right now it's not doing much for me. Um, and like for my specific body type, for my specific body type, I would like tuck it in like this on the side just so you could kind of see where my waist is. Because I feel like if I don't do that, I will kind of get lost in all the fabric. But yeah, love, love this set. So cute. Highly recommend. Definitely one of my favorites. When I pulled this out the package, I was like, wow, wow. Next up, I picked up this cute little crop jacket. I love jackets. You guys know I've been picking them up nonstop this year. And that's just because I don't ever feel like getting dressed. Like if I do have to go run an errand like to the market or to Target. Since I don't get out often, I do actually try to put some effort into myself for those few errands. Um, but 
I usually just throw on a sweatsuit like this one, a nice black one or a nice gray one to go out. And then I like having nice coats like this to just throw over. They make me feel like I put a little bit of effort into myself. So this one is just this really, really cute like crop, uh, like a Borg sheep. Sheep, what, what is it? Word? I don't know. I know it's Borg though, right? But yeah, I just love me a cute crop jacket because you could just dress them up with everything, throw them on with some tights, sweatpants, a nice white shirt, and boom, you're done. <laughs> love the color. I just feel like it's a really cute shade of green. I don't even know what color green this is. We had this debate on what color this green is, and I can't remember what was the color that we decided upon. I gotta, I gotta expand my vocabulary of colors, but yeah, super, super cute. I love how like this just kind of hangs, like it's not super structured, but I like that it sits up because it kind of like will frame your face in the colder months. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. The sleeves are not too tight as well, which I really, really like. I think I sized up on mine. Let me double check before I say that. Yeah, I got mine in a US 8, so I just took a size that for my regular size, but that is just something I would just throw on with some leggings, some gray sweatpants, a nice white top, like I said, a sneaker, boom, you're done. The color stands out, the material stands out because it's cropped, it'll just make you look a little bit more dressed than you really are. Next up, I picked up one more jacket. Um, I know I'm not showing you guys like what they look like on on, but you guys know we're doing a vlog style haul. So we're just seeing what we got. You know how when you just get a package in email, and you're so excited to see what's in it. Nobody sits there and does their makeup and plans fits. You gotta see what it's hitting for. So you guys know I love me a good denim jacket in the fall and the spring. I don't know, I just feel like they just go with everything. And when I saw this one, I couldn't resist the white because I love a stark white, like when it starts to get warm outside. Like that's the one thing I can never wait to wear is white. <laughs> when it starts getting warmer so yeah it's just super super loose and like not bulky like a little bit oversized which i really really like though because you have to take into consideration that i have a sweatshirt on right now so it's not doing it like the best justice but if i had like a white crop top on and like a pair of denim shorts and like a nice white sneaker just so cute super chill but for me it's just not like any denim jacket that i have it just looks super cool it looks really high end because it's just next level denim jacket so yeah really really cute let me see what i got this one in i think i sized up in this as well you guys know i just been taking everything super oversized um yeah i got this in the eight so i'm usually a true us size six that's usually what i go for um but i don't know i'm just so tired of like fitted clothes like i just want to be comfortable these days you know what i'm saying so yeah i picked this up in the eight as well and it's just super super cute i'm gonna hold it up just so you guys can get an idea of it as well but it's just like your nice boxy oversized crop you guys know i love me a good cropped jean jacket they just look good with everything like everything all right so next up i was so excited when i seen this on the site they actually had it in another color that i wanted i'm hoping that maybe it's back in stock right now by the time i upload this for you guys because it comes in like this blue as well but this is a shacket but it's floor length yes it's floor length at least on, on me it's floor length because i'm five four but so 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 cute you guys know we love shackets let's just go to the big mirror let's just go how stinking cute is this? This would be such a vibe in the spring with like a nice pair of distressed jeans or even distressed shorts and like a white crop top. You guys know I love me a good white racer bit crop top with this over top when it's like a still a little bit chilly outside, like low 70s, you know, that type of um, temperature. So, so cute. It still gives you like fall vibes, spring vibes as well. This is definitely fall vibes because the green, it does come with a matching like belt. So my belt is over there, I left it off. Um, but it's just, I die, I die, I love it. So cute, it definitely gives me like lumberjack vibes, but I'm not mad at it for some reason. I think this would be so cute too, like a nice fedora, but you guys know we have this thing where I don't own any hats because my head is so big, but I see the vision with the hats. It's just, I can't fulfill the vision. So maybe one of you guys can, but yeah, love, love this, this is just adorable if they came out with this in so many different colors i would pick up all of them black gray all of it give them all to me next up i picked up this sweatshirt it says 2020 not a vibe i specifically got this for one reason um it's now 2021 obviously but i picked this up because i'm wearing this in my living room for the inauguration because i am celebrating the inauguration um i just we all know we're not even gonna discuss it we're not even gonna reminisce we're not even gonna bring it back we're just going to be grateful that we made it to a new year and that 
things are gonna start looking up soon so yeah i just picked this up because i just thought it was so funny you guys know i love me a good sweatshirt with a slogan um and what a way to remember how shitty the year was other than the sweatshirt because it was not a vibe at all 100 percent not a vibe 10 out of 10 do not recommend vibes so yeah i just got this because i thought it was cute you guys know i just love jokes i have a really corny sense of humor but i just love jokes you know what i'm saying <laughs> All right, and last but not least, it was the thing I was most excited about, and of course it did not work out for me, but that's okay. It's all right. It's such good quality. I knew it was gonna look so cute, but it wouldn't go over my head. In my defense, I do have a really large head. Like when people say, hey, big head to me, they're not kidding, you know? Like it's not like they're flirting, no, they're being dead serious. Um, so it's all right it's okay my feelings are not hurt whatsoever this is in a size is this a size 12 it might be a six or eight i don't know i have a link down below i think it's a six or eight but it's basically this like two-in-one dress it's a sweatshirt dress but it has like a plaid hem right here and then the collar that matches so 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 cute i love wearing stuff like this in the spring with sneakers like i think you just look like so I don't know it's like really like girly chic to me when you wear a nice little dress like this and some sneakers it just wouldn't go over my head i don't know maybe i can figure out how to get it on but it's like not really much stretch right here because of the collar um and again my head is just big that's why i don't own hats that's why i can't wear wigs because my head is just so big like i need custom everything and like who has time for that you know but so so cute if you guys decide to pick this up the quality is really really nice it's a nice sturdy gray marl right here um, and this is a really nice plaid like shacky material as well just keep in mind if you want it to go over your head maybe size up <laughs> but yeah super super cute and i love how it has like elastic right here because that meant it would have like went in and then the rest would have flared out but yeah it's okay it's all right my feelings aren't hurt but yeah so that was everything that i picked up from boohoo this week but yeah all right let's get into the rest of the vlog all right so before i go do like my light treatment on my face um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things. They just came in the mail. They're super, super random. Like, they're nothing you guys need. Um, still in my Cheerios. I like snacking on Cheerios these days. I don't know if these are Honey Nut or if they're just regular Cheerios. I can't really tell. But I like snacking on Cheerios. And then they're not bad for you, you know? Getting ready to go lay down and watch my show um, and do my blue light therapy sorry it's like a piece of hair on my face my blue light therapy on my face which i've been doing to see if it'll help me with my acne um i did use it two times already and the two times that i did use it, i did notice a difference like the day after like everything was kind of cooled down and i wasn't getting as many breakouts the next morning so yeah i'm hoping to use that three to four times a week for 20 minutes um i will let you guys know how that goes i don't want to recommend you guys to get like this mask because it's not cheap or anything until i can tell you i like it but yeah so because of that i had to pick up like some uh like the little goggles that you use like if you're in a tanning bed or something mine is like a full bone mask so i can see through it because it has eye holes um but it did come with like a rubber one but it stunk like i just i wasn't crazy about the smell of the rubber one and it was filled with like a black liquid um and then i put it on one time and afterwards my head just was hurting so bad like not from the entire face mask from the eye mask that i fell asleep for like six hours so yeah i just picked up some of these um that way i could just sit them on and be protected from the light it's not uv it's led but they say it is better to just guard your eyes a little bit so yeah then i picked up um this soap bar this was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers or i don't know maybe she's not subscribing maybe she just views I don't know but she actually dm me on instagram um i didn't get back to her because i deleted my instagram like a day or two after or did i respond to her i can't remember because i can't view the dm i can't i don't even, I don't even remember what her name is um but it was a soap bar and she said it really really helped her with her skin i love when you guys reach out to me and say like hey i know you're struggling right now this is what worked for me maybe you should give it a try or at least look into it so she did send me this it's called an oxygen clay organic treatment bar these are made in a different dominican republic so i think they're like a small owned company um they are 100 organic cruelty free and fair trade but basically it's like this bar obviously the ingredients are water 100 pure clay organic coconut oil sodium silicate the sodium edta whatever that is sorbitol glycerin and vitamin e so i don't have the bar in here because i actually put it in my shower and tried it today um 
the direction is where to wet your face and then wet the bar and then apply the bar directly to your face which is what I did and then after you did that rub it in for a few with the bar and then let it dry um so I did that I washed it off it was one of those soaps that left your face like squeaky squeaky clean like antibacterial clean um and right after i put my toner on and my serum and that's all i have on right now because i don't want to put my moisturizer on before the mask because it might have trouble like penetrating through all of those barriers so yeah i will keep you guys updated on that um i'll have a link down below just in case any of you guys are curious i did look at like their before and afters on instagram like i said it's a really small owned company so a lot of things were like answered on the instagram or the website um but i get it you know like it's a small owned company so they're learning as they go but yeah it's affordable as well so i'll definitely let you guys know how i like this because i'm gonna basically use it probably three times a week in the shower um alternating with my regular cleansers that won't dry my skin out so yeah um then i just picked up some what are these called films for my polaroid camera i want to get back around to using my polaroid camera um, and then along the lines of that, I also picked up some disposable cameras from Amazon. I don't know. I just remember using these. These, these are my era right here when I was a kid. So I just picked up a two-pack from Amazon. Um, when I go to get them developed, do I have to go to the pharmacy store or like, do they not do that anymore? Yeah, so that's all I picked up this week. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. Um, and then we're going to do our light mask, our blue light mask. Um, oh, and then later, we have to put our shoe shelf together because our shelf came. We're getting our life together this week, but I'm also about to show you guys my room so you guys can see it really quickly. So I just turned the lights off because you guys know I always have these um, lights on right here. So you guys know we moved the entire bed. So the room just looks so much bigger like this. Um, I honestly don't know why I didn't put it like this to begin with, but I'm one of those people that like when I move, sorry, let me close the closet. I'm one of those people that when I move and the initial vision of how it makes sense in my head, um, is what I go with. Now, I never had a problem with this setup in general in my mind. It's just that in my brain, like the bed is not perfectly aligned with the dresser, yada, yada, yada. But these are all things I'll get over with because again, there is so much room in here. Um, it looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot less cluttered, even though it's the same amount of furniture and stuff. So yeah, as of right now, it's working out fine for me. So I just washed all my linens and stuff in my bed and yeah. Everything smells great. It smells like bleach and fabric softener over there, which I love for me. Um, I just wish that it didn't take me like four years to put my blanket in a duvet because it's just one of those tasks that I hate doing. Like I hate doing it. But I moved the mirror over here once we got rid of all the junk because it took me a while to basically get rid of the old TV and stuff. But now that the mirror is there, I love that it just is very very sleek and then like when i'm in it ignore the mess in a bit when i'm in this mirror it just looks a lot cleaner because you guys can see the, the the spare white wall whereas before you got to see all my furniture and i kind of like was getting over that um so there is the bookshelf the bookshelf what asia the shoe shelf that we need to put together because i actually did take majority of my coats out my closet earlier so i only left um, the three puffers that I was wearing this winter, so my nude one from Zara, my leather one, and then my mackage with the fur, which is what I wear like if I go to walk the dog. Um, but other than that, all those other teddy coats and stuff like that, they went into the basement. But as you can see, I have like a lot of shoes down here, and it's nothing wrong with that, but I would just rather have more space like for the camera. Um, so yeah, that's what this shoe shelf is for. So we're gonna put that together sometime this week. No rush on that, right, Asia? My dresser is messy. It's always messy, but we're still going to show you guys because we're honest, you know, we're open. So you guys know uh, my furniture is from Macy's just in case you're new here, but I bought the TV. Someone was saying that I need it bigger than a 55 inch. I per personally think anything over a 55 in a bedroom is obnoxious. Like unless your room is huge, I don't think a 55, anything over a 55 is healthy. So this TV um, is, you know, one of the newer ones. So of course I have my lights on it because why not? Who would I be if I didn't have the lights on my TV in my, my mirror? Um, but I like this one because the newer Samsung, so you could basically put a picture on the screen or like a color rather than the screen go black. So not like one of the ones where it looks like art. I mean, you can put an artwork on it. Let's see, what do we want? 
what are our options? Because sometimes I like looking at these types of screens. Like when the Apple TV goes out and it plays those nice little relaxing ones, I love watching them. I actually could sit there all day and stare at them. Um, but yeah, so it says downloading content because I haven't tried a lot of these. But basically, anytime that I'm not watching TV, I can just decide on a picture, a color background, a tile to put, and it just looks like a piece of art, which I think is really, really nice because you guys know the TV that does look like a picture frame, it's really expensive. People end up not liking it. Um, but now the regular Samsung's, you could do it as well. You could also use pictures from your phone and stuff like that. So if you wanted like it to look like you actually Put a picture up of you in the wall you could do that but yeah super super nice the quality is amazing on this tv um so yeah everything is up here i have to put that bag away i just haven't gotten around to it yeah you guys know my perfume sit up here um i am gonna hang this tv up on a wall i actually have the what's that called mount right there i just you know that's one of those things you have to get the energy to you have to get the energy to do because i do know how to hang the tvs i hang all my tvs by myself it's just <laughs> I just don't feel like finding studs. I don't feel like making a mess. So yeah, for right now, she's doing okay on a dresser. I'm not really in a rush to put holes in my wall anyways. So yeah, she's gonna stay here for a while. Just know we'll get around to it eventually. Um, you guys know that's just all this stuff that I just showed you guys. Same shows as always from the containers chair. I'm getting rid of this chair soon because it doesn't fit with the new setup. So yeah, she was cute while she lasted. I think that's all the changes that we made last week. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. Um, but yeah, so far I like it. I'm not mad at it. I definitely feel a little less cluttered in here now that I have extra room. Um, and I've been enjoying my new TV. I actually also didn't pull my cable box over here like I told you guys I was going to do because I just was too lazy to run the cable cord so now xfinity has an app um let me turn this way because i feel like the lighting was a little bit better yeah now xfinity actually has an app so if your tv is like up to date and a smart tv you can just download the xfinity app um and i don't watch cable <laughs> i only watch like recordings of my tv shows and um like the news sometimes but basically on the xfinity app i can access live channels the full entire guide and then also all my recordings which works out for me so i didn't have to pull my cable box over here which i really really like um and you guys know i just have my apple tv on there so yeah super super cute though i mean it just feels a little bit more relaxing in here love the vibes i feel like if this is hung the picture vibe will be it you know um but yeah i'm gonna go clean my dresser off because now it's starting to look like it was getting so clean in here and I have freaking clothes in the washer and the dryer. You guys know how I feel about folding clothes. I just be requiring like seven pep talks to fold laundry. Like I just, I can't do it. I ain't doing it. I don't know why. But yeah, all right. So I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. What's today? Today is Wednesday, January 13th. So I honestly just woke up from a nap. I was so tired today and it was one of those naps that like, um, I couldn't wake up. Like I would wake up and I just would fall right back asleep because I do not sleep good at nighttime anymore. Um, I haven't been sleeping good at nighttime for like months actually since like september ish i have no idea why you guys know <clears throat> i thought i needed a new mattress so i got a new mattress and then that was okay for a little bit and then after the new mattress i don't know i just kept feeling like my spine wasn't aligned perfectly i wasn't sleeping comfortably um and like i fall asleep but i'm just not reaching like my stage two asleep where you start to dream and stuff so basically i just never feel well rested like whether i go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night 12 o'clock two in the morning i just i wake up 
um, for school with Harper and it's stress like whatever. But it's never like, oh, I had really good sleep last night. You know what I'm saying? So I have bought like the memory foam pillows because I thought maybe that would help me um, like help with my spine a little bit and my neck. I bought um, what's it called? Body pillows because I do like having pillows in between my knees. But I didn't like using my pillows that I use all with up on my head, you know, because I just think that's like, I don't know. I mean, not that it's not sanitary, that sounds weird, but I don't know. I just, my head pillows are for my head. So I bought body pillows and then like I got one body pillow and I like it, but it seems a little too fluffy. So then I got one that I felt like it wasn't super fluffy, so it doesn't make much of a difference. It's just like, oh. I don't know what to do so if you guys have any recommendations please let me know um i tried everything medicines tea i just haven't been sleeping well and it's so so annoying and it's not like i'm doing anything different than i used to do um i just can't sleep and it's so annoying because i need my sleep so when i take naps during the day they're always really good sleep like bomb sleep i dream i'm knocked out and then when I go to sleep at night, even when I don't take naps, it's not working. I put the shoe shelf together so that I could just show you guys something other than me talking. Honestly, truly. Um, so, yeah, I'm also going to show you guys. And I'm also going to show you this one package really quick. So I got a package from my girlfriend. Um, you might, you guys probably honestly know her off her instagram her name is trapezoid mouth um love her she's so sweet so she was so sweet and sent me a harper something from her business it's called loony luxury and child they brought this to my house they brought this to my house but i had to sign for it and i don't ever open the door for my packages because my dog is annoying and i just don't because of covid but usually even when i have to sign for things they still leave it like they left the ps5 outside of my house the tv everything and um this one they decided to take back i scheduled a re-delivery as soon as i got the form 10 minutes later and usps is on a bullshit so they took it to my post office so yeah her handwriting is so so cute <laughs> So yeah, love her. She sent something to me in Harper, which was so sweet of her. I just love people. People are so nice. So she sent Harper this pink little fur, like, moto jacket. Um, We were, like, talking about colors or whatever. She's like, I'm going to send one to Harp. So she sent Harper this one. I'm not going to be able to get Harp out of this. You guys know, I do let Harper wear color sometimes. But when I do let her get colorful things, I cannot get her out of them. Um, But yeah, this is super, super cute. It's really nice quality as well. And the fur is nice and soft, which we love. I love how, like, the inside lining is, like, almost, like, really kid-friendly, too. Like, it has pictures on it. Um, so, yeah, she sent that one for Harper. And then... Oh, it's so funny, because everybody in my house is asleep right now, too. So, I know it's not just me. And then, for me, she sent one that was pretty much similar it's in black though with like tan to gray fur and it just has like the same little fur on it love the collar like let's talk about the collar though um but super super cute so yeah i just feel like i'm gonna be living like my j-lo life in this but yeah those are from Lumi luxury so i'll have her site linked down below i also have her instagram on screen just in case you're curious you guys have to know who i'm talking about if you've ever been on Tumblr and stuff, you know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm that old that I used to be on freaking Tumblr. Like, I was on Tumblr the other day and it's just not the same. And there's so many ads that when I'm scrolling on my phone, I always click the ad and then it opens Safari. And then Safari opens the app store and I'm just like... Uh, I can't. It's not the same. It's not the same as it was a few years ago.
right, so the closet is done. So this finally looks way better now that like all of this is spaced out. <clears throat> I need to get around to fixing the boxes sooner or later because they're like pushed out some. Yeah, and that one's just, I don't even know, but we'll get around to that eventually. You guys might have to get a piece of wood for that. And that looks nice. If I need to find it, I mean, if I need to buy another one, they are stackable. So that's good. But those are just shoes that I just leave out because I wear them a lot. So there's no need for me to put them back in the box. Like usually when I run out the house, I just grab any of those flip flops. Um, and for the winter, I always wear either my desert boots or these Hill Louis Vuitton boots. So I just don't feel the need to put them back in a box. Um, you guys know I wear those a lot as well. And those are also really well loved in my closet. But looks way better. I'll have these linked down below if you want them. Because like I said, they are stackable. Super easy to put together. And they're pretty nice quality. I mean, I can't imagine them breaking from shoes. So yeah, that's that. So I will see y'all tomorrow. But I just wanted to come on here because... If you guys use Final Cut Pro, let me know, ever since like the update, um, you used to be able to like export directly to YouTube. So like once I was done, it would download straight to YouTube, I didn't have to do anything. Now I have to export to my computer, then upload it to YouTube. And it's just so annoying because it's just an extra step. Like well, before I used to be able to just do everything and walk off and then schedule it from my phone. Now I have to do this, like this extra step. Um, so if you guys know if there's any way I could get around it, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, and also we are going to go back to the Wednesday, Sunday upload schedule soon. Um, probably within the next two to three weeks, I'm going to try to plan a few videos out, plan, I'm going to plan them, film them ahead of time, edit them. That way I could just kind of take it easy getting back into it because it's a really hard schedule to get used to and I, it sucks that I was used to it and I undid all of that. Um, but let me know which video you want to see first because right now the videos that i'm planning to film are hold on they're in my notepad um they're pretty random um honestly but yeah so the options are one um i could do a one year youtube anniversary video which is basically you guys know i've been on youtube for a year now i'm being consistent with uploads so yeah my oldest video is probably like a year and a few months old but I uploaded those videos and then I like went completely AWOL for a few months until I got back and I was actually posting weekly two times a month at least. Um, so yeah, for the one year YouTube anniversary video, my plan is to just basically sit down and talk to you guys that are new to YouTube and want some tips and tricks basically how I make money on YouTube. I'm going to tell you guys how much I make on a month to month basis, how that increases month to month. Um getting sponsorships and stuff like that because i do touch on it in older vlogs you guys know i used to give you guys tips and stuff um when i have a tip to give I, you guys not share but for those people that don't watch my sunday series um i would like them to be able to access that information so yeah i'm gonna be straight up with you guys about my numbers and how much money i make and how much i get paid per sponsorships um getting sponsorships through other companies getting private sponsorships directly from companies stuff like that the directions i take um so yeah one year youtube anniversary video is one video the second video is my favorite designer pieces or uh investment pieces in my closet pieces that i think are worth investing in spending your money in bags that, like i feel like are worth the money if you're looking to buy your first designer bag or your first designer pair of shoes stuff like that you guys know i do have um a really nice collection of staple wardrobe pieces so i would like to discuss that i also don't know if i want to do a separate video from that or contribute in that video um baby mace i don't even know what i was just saying basically i could do a video talking about like the most trendy pieces that i bought they were trend specific year specific and if i think they were worth the money just in case you guys were thinking about purchasing them i.e uh like the bottega hills the prada boots dior bag stuff like that um video number three is i could do the best and worst bag purchases um so basically show you guys my bags not a handbag collection because i don't want to do a handbag collection video i think sometimes it could come off the wrong way so i don't want to tiptoe into that um 
but basically showing you guys five designer handbags uh, from different price ranges that I think are good bags to have in your collection. Not like not bags that you just get because you have other options, but bags that are nice to have, that are practical, that are everyday, that could go with multiple different outfits, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys want that video. Um, and then I could also do a video that is an overhyped designer items that I could live without. So basically go through my closet and show you guys purchases that I spent my money on that I don't need them, I don't use them. They aren't my favorite things, but I enjoy having them because I have them. Um, just something fun, you know. I feel like you guys do like my higher end videos, but we just haven't touched on it. So yeah, those are those videos. And then the last one um, is a collective random haul. I don't know necessarily if I could do that one right now because I haven't been shopping, honestly. I haven't been buying myself clothes, shoes, anything like that. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just trying to kind of shift away from what we were used to the last year and kind of do include more high-end videos and stuff like that i'm sorry but yeah let me know what videos you guys want and what order um if you guys just say you want the fashion videos and then the youtube video i could do that if you want the youtube video first and then the fashion videos let me know and then i also plan on doing you guys know uh updated makeup video trying all those new products because i haven't opened them yet so yeah, that's pretty much my plans for the next few weeks considering I'm stuck in the house. And you guys know, I you could tell when I get tired of being in the house because I just start wanting to change everything. I get tired of looking at everything because this is all I look at. I want to redo the laundry room. I just want to organize. I just want to throw all of Harper's clothes out that she doesn't wear. I just want to clean my closets. Like, I'm just getting tired of everything. So, yeah. Just let me know down below. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes because you guys know I've talked too much. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the description box for this video that you guys are watching last week. And yeah, let's see what we get into. It's a little bit later. Hopefully it's a little bit more exciting than last week. You know what I'm saying?